Thank you, Glenn. Joining us now to discuss more is Matt Doherty, a security expert, also expert, former Secret Service agent and managing director, director at Sikich. Good morning. Thanks for being with us, Matt. Good morning. Thank you for having me. I'm curious, as a former Secret Service agent, what your reaction was. Obviously, uh, everyone was watching this whole thing in horror on Saturday, but knowing what you know, how do you feel things were done by the Secret Service? Uh, on two different levels, uh, the inner perimeter, the agents that covered and evacuated, um, heroic, but that's what they're trained to do, and that met the expectations of the Secret Service on the reaction. However, that outer perimeter, for being just 100 yards or so away as a line of sight and fire, that's totally unacceptable, uh, and some hard questions need to be asked and answered. So whose job is that? Is that the... Uh assessment team from the Secret Service that should have secured that rooftop? We've heard local authorities might have been handling that area. That's without a doubt. The site responsibility is the United States Secret Service with support from the police departments uh, covering that area. I, I would, if I could, yeah. uh, talk about resources. Uh, former President Trump was afforded protection as a former president. This coming week, it's anticipated he'll be the candidate nominee. I'm wondering, uh, as are many of my former colleagues, what package did he get? Was he treated as a former president, like former President Clinton or former President Obama with resources? Or was he given a full-fledged candidate nominee level of protection, uh, even though on a technicality he's not the candidate nominee yet? I heard one analyst say that uh, the Secret Service has been spread pretty thin for a number of years. Do you agree with that assessment? I think they've had significant staffing increases uh, over the last few years. Um, I don't think that's any excuse for not proper resources. There's a variety of resources that I'm wondering, uh, were they available at this rally? And if local is supposed to be in charge of that rooftop, how, how do you explain the confusion where someone doesn't protect the rooftop? Uh, could not agree more. You're going to see... Um, so a lot of documentation come out in an after action report. There is an assessment report. There is a post standing log. Was that supposed to be a police post? Um, it is shocking that that was not posted being in such close proximity and line of sight. So you're gonna see some uh, documentation. Uh, the other thing we have is you've heard about the, count the sniper teams, but there are also uh, counter sniper response teams that respond to anything suspicious on any of the rooftops. But Clearly, that should have been posted. Uh, some explanations are, are needed. And um, I just something just doesn't seem right that that was not posted properly. Well, Matt, we thank you for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Matt Doherty, thank you. Look at the weather, Paul. Yeah, we're in store for a hot, humid day.